Okay, geometry, chapter three, section one, parallels and transversals. So we're going to do some perpendiculars later in the in the chapter. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Um, but right now we're going to focus on just parallels. So the definition of parallel is equidistant apart. Okay, and using in um, using terms that we've used in the last chapter. We are going to use the definition that they are coplanar lines. Okay. They are coplanar lines that don't intersect. Okay, coplanar lines that don't intersect. So if I had the shape maybe of a, uh, uh, let's use a parallelogram, and let's say I labeled that A, B, C, D, then A, B would be parallel, and that's the parallel term, to C, D. And also, BC would be parallel to AD. Now, again, these are on the same plane. So there will also be lines on separate planes that don't intersect. And those are called skew lines. Skew lines are lines that are non coplanar and they don't intersect perfect example would be this cube and let's say that I call this A, B, C, D. That's a plane. And I also have, um, let's see where I'm going here. OK, so I'm going to say that AB, segment AB, is skew with, so I need to find something on a different plane. Let's say this A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, E, F is on a different plane, all right, and it's going the other direction. So you see that A, B is going this way, and E, F is going that way. Those two plane or those two lines will never intersect. Obviously there are whoops <laughs> there are more than that, but we're just going to look at those two. Okay, so on different planes that do not intersect. So next we're going to have what's called a transversal. And to have a transversal, we need to have some lines and we need to cut those lines. These two lines are cut by a transversal. Okay, cut by a transversal. And it forms eight different angles. And so I want to look here in the book real quick and make sure that I keep them numbered the same. Well, theirs are all different. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's already some relationships that we do know. We know vertical angles. One and four are vertical. Two and three are vertical. Five and eight are vertical. Six and seven are vertical. But we're also going to learn some different types of relationships. So um, three, four, five, and six. Let's scroll down here a bit. Oh, it's right on the side. Three, 
4, 5, and 6 are interior angles. Which means that 1, 2, 7, and 8 would be exterior. Okay, so we have interiors and exteriors. Now let's go with the relationship between 3 and 6 and 4 and 5. Those are called alternate interiors. So that would be make 1 and 8 and 2 and 7 alternate exteriors. We then are going to look at um, consecutive interiors. Those are going to be on the same side. So 3 and 5 and 4 and 6 are consecutive interiors. And the ones that are, um, let's look at, okay, and finally we have 1 and 5, 3 and 7, 2 and 6, 4 and 8. Those are corresponding. Angles. Okay, so interiors, exteriors. Alternate interiors, alternate exteriors, consecutives, and corresponding angles. So that's a little over seven minutes. That's 3-1, parallel lines, and transversals.